everyone it's Jo I just thought I would quickly pop in and share with you my completed mini album um, I picked these papers up while I was over in Brisbane they're Minte papers and I think the collections called Birdsong um, and I wasn't actually really sure what I was going to do with them and when I got them home I thought yep yeah, mini album so I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough I tried a different binding system as well with this mini album um, it's amazing I've done so many mini albums but I learned something new each time um, so this time I've tried something a little different with the binding um, probably hence why my spine is a lot thicker than what they normally are but it was a, a bit easier I think um, the way that I did it and I uh, tried a shaker pocket as well on the front cover so this is just a frame die cut that I had and I've just added some oops, glitter and sparkles to it so there's the front of my album I just fussy cut a couple of the birds out and used some prima flowers. I've just used my ribbon to keep it closed. So let's have a little look. Whoops, I've got myself in a knot here. There we go. So I haven't added any photo mats to this. I've just kept it um, relatively simple because the papers were so pretty. Um, so we can just add photos directly on top of it. So this is the first page. So there's plenty of room for photos and even some journal spots as well. This one here just has a pocket with a couple of um, tags just using the pretty paper. This one here, I like these little cut aparts. It was like a door knocker which I thought was really cool. So I've used that as a closure to pull down. And again a couple of more photo mats and then this one also opens again to the top more of that pretty paper this one's just as is I just like the paper on that so I've left it plain a couple more spots here you could either add photos to these ones or journal spots as well a little pocket and this one lifts out to the right whoops so I like to, when I um, put my pages together, keep the patterns um, similar, kind of mirror them around the page as well, which is what I've done throughout the book. So this one here just flips out this way. Again, one of these little cut aparts, so I've just used that as a little flip. This one here, I've just added a magnet to the back and it just kind of sits on the top to keep them closed. So this one lifts up and then this one lifts down. Pop that back on there. This one here again, another cut apart. The cut aparts are really pretty. They'd make really nice um, cards as well. So this one just lifts up. So again, plenty of room for photos. This one here is just a simple little belly band that holds a few more photo mats or journaling spots. And they're all secured with magnets as well. This one here was a little bit different. I've used this tag as the closure, kind of done like a um, diagonal pocket. And then these also flip open as well. So this um, little tag holds the um, flips together. Another one of those pretty cut aparts. Again, this one just opens this way. And this last page here, you can see here, I've had to add a chunkier um, little, um, what do you call them, like a little flange, I suppose, um, just because it was um, ended up so chunky. So this one lifts this way. It's all got a, a magnet closures as well to hold it tight. Again, some more of that pretty paper. This one lifts this way, and it's got a couple of tags in here as well. This also lifts out this way. And then it also flips to the left. So because there was quite a bit going on, I needed to add extra here. Otherwise, um, it wasn't all going to fold over. And then the little belly flap just holds it all together. And just some more of that pretty paper on the back. 
So yeah, I had a lot of fun making this. Um, it's amazing. Like I said, I've done so many albums, but you kind of learn something new every time and always find that there's something different that I want to try. Um, so yeah, thanks for popping in. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I haven't been on YouTube much lately, but I did notice I've got um, a few more subscribers. So that's really cool. So a massive thank you. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.